and one second. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, and here we go. We're good. Okay, should be okay now. Okay, so uh, here we go. This is going to be our first match. It's going to be Mr. Chang Kai Kisk against Nazuki, a, a Ram Lethal player. Let's see how it goes. Comment ça, Kito? Bienvenue au stream. And very early burst right there from Mr. Chang. Makes good use of the aerial, uh, well, uh, fireballs of Kai Kisk to keep Nazuki in check. Okay, very nice. Ah, okay, very nice 6p right there from Mr. Chang, as expected from a Kai Kisk player. Definitely. <laughs> oh, the big counter hit right there. This hurt like a mother humper. Mm. But yeah, very nice uh, use of the fireballs right there from Mr. Chang. And early, early install uh, pop right there from Mr. Chang. Okay, he's got Nazuki in the corner. Let's see if he's going to be able to keep her there. Actually not, <laughs> but it's okay. Very nicely done by Mr. Chang. We saw some uh, very nice, very nice stuff. And we'll see if uh, Nazuki is going to be able to keep this momentum going. But so far, yeah, Nazuki is definitely weathering the storm. Not over committing. Oh, very nice cross over from Nazuki. Was able to switch sides, but then again, unable to correctly juggle Mr. Chang. Once again, Mr. Chang is free to do as he wants. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Very nice. Gold burst from Chang, and here we go. The overdrive has been popped. Will Mr. Chang be able to? Ah, he dropped the combo. This is unfortunate. It's okay. He still has Nazuki in the corner. Okay, he's gonna get the wall break. Unfortunate for him, he didn't use the tension. He could have gotten the kill, I believe. Okay, oof. That was a very late Roman cancel, but thankfully it was just in time to uh, make it so that he couldn't be punished. And just like this. Uh, yeah, Mr. Chang puts one on the board. Thank you very much for the follow. Really appreciate it. And the big stun dipper right there. Okay, I'm just going to check a couple of things because I might have done a boo-boo. Gameplay layer. Okay. Oh, wait. oh, yeah, that's my shot. Okay, just one second. Hopefully, I won't F up anything. Should be okay. And here we go. The tea bag. <laughs> oh, really? He tea bagged? I didn't check. Really? No. Seriously? No. I'm gonna have to recheck uh, what he did. I'm gonna take replay. Take the replay. Did he? No. Seriously? Just one second. Was there a T-Bag? Are you sure? Sometimes, like, um, when when players tend to... Before the... Okay, that's strange. No T-Bag, Mr. Chang. Be careful, please. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah. No T-Bag, please, Mr. Chang. Yeah. Ah, right when I was uh, checking stuff. But sometimes, you know, people might, like, input... Uh, they might, like, buffer the, the overdrive and... It might seem like they're teabagging, but really what they're doing is just inputting the uh, the overdrive. So really need to uh, make to 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 tell the difference. But then again, I could I didn't really see what happened. Hopefully it wasn't a teabag. Oh yeah, I'm just warning everybody. If you teabag, you're out. Well, if you're obviously teabagging, you are out of the tournament. Yeah, just uh. Oh yeah. Let me check real quick. Okay. Just one second, please. Ah, uh, yeah, that was it. Yeah. <clears throat> Shank. No more key bag, or you're disqualified. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, I sent a. Uh, merci pour le clip, uh, Akemi. Merci pour le clip. 
Hmm. Okay, I sent a uh, warning to Mr. Chang. Hopefully, he'll abide by it. And if he doesn't, then it's uh, it's over. So, Mr. Chang also won the second one? Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay, anyways, on to the third match. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Okay, a big trade right at the start of the... Oh, of this encounter. Mr. Chen really determined to run and try to throw his opponent. Okay, Nazuki really trying to weather the storm. He has a little bit of a problem to try to uh, basically keep the momentum right here. Ah, and a very big grab right there from Mr. Chang. Oh, yeah. And he's going to get the wall break. Oh, and here we go. The big wake up overdrive by, uh, by, by Nazuki. Unfortunately, Mr. Chang was aware of what was going to happen. And he just blocked and was able to get the adequate, uh, the adequate, uh, what's it called, punish on it. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Very nice uh, decision of Nazuki to... Okay, good stuff. Let's see. Again, the Stun Dipper really catches Nazuki off guard. But yeah, the... Ah, uh... uh, yeah. Mr. Chang has been on point uh, when it comes to trying to... Okay, very nice contest right there from Nazuki was able to get the low in in order to secure the win. Let's see if Nazuki is able to put one on the board. He has the... Oh, and that whip punish was pretty good. Here go Mr. Chang really trying to weather the storm right there. Big counter hit from Mr. Chang right there. Pushing Nazuki ever so slightly in the corner and uh, again he... That was a... Pretty tight uh, with punish, adequate with punish right there. Oh, okay, here we go. Last chance for Nazuki. He's got the full tension bar. Okay, here we go. Ooh, damn, that was big. Okay, and easy, nice little punish in the end. Mr. Chang versus Lady Scribe. I hope I have got, yeah, I got the flat correct, I think. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so let's see how it goes. So it's gonna be, uh, what's the name of uh, this character? Uh, to Axel against uh, Zato. So this is gonna be the War of the... Ooh, War of the Zoning, man. And just like this, man, Nas starts right away with, uh, with an anti-air twice, actually. Two anti again, a third counter hit anti-air right there from Nas. Definitely on point with his way of apprehending how Lady Scribe is supposed to advance. Okay, need to really be careful. Okay, very nice use of the pikes right there from Lady Scribe to try to make her way towards, uh, uh, towards Nas. Here we go, she popped the, uh, what's called the overdrive. She has it out now. It's time to bring the pressure, but unfortunately for her, a mistimed throw made it so that uh, Nas could get uh, an early wrap on her and okay just one, just one second guys okay, good. Hmm. okay just one second guys so first match goes to Nas, very nicely done. I'm sorry, I need to uh, check some things as well.
ここへ、えー、と連絡しますね連絡うん OK そうポセイドンポセイドンさんあれポセイドンさんっていらっしゃいます今ポセイドンえっ、ー、とねえっ、ー、とどこポセイドンあ、すみません。ああ、そっかそっかそっか。わかりました。オッケーオッケー。ポセイドンさんはオッケーオッケー。大会がオッケー。連絡。取れました。ポセイドン。さんは PS4 の大会だと。こんしはい。さらしいでえっと失格あっ OK あっ I didn't check who won the last one now it was NAS OK here we go sorry guys I need to yeah I need to check a lot、uh, by the way Kain can you give me the room code yeah it's、uh, exactly the one that Murasaki Megu gave perfect <laughs> で確認うん。More as well, <laughs> but I need to also keep、uh, an eye on the other matches if everything is going is going okay or not. <laughs> okay, perfect. This is good. And then we have. I'm the Japping Lula, so I'll come. Okay, we're good. Finally, I think we're good. And here we go. Yeah, Lady Scribe. Managed to, take a, um, managed to take a round right there. Very nicely done. A very big anti air from Nas. Wow, really just.、Uh, from, from Lady Scrab. Just really checking、uh, that Nas was going to go in the air. Very nicely done. Oh, again, the 2HS from Nas. Really on point when it came to, uh, to uh, prevent Lady Scrab from taking into the air. And just like this. Yeah, okay. So, Nas took one round as well. We are on match point currently in favor of Nas. Let's see how it eventually goes. Okay, very nice entire. Again, Nas, man, has been 10 on 10 when it came to punishing、uh, Lady Scribe and preventing her from going in the air. Very nice rainwater right there from Nas. A second one. No, unfortunately, committed to the.、Yeah. <laughs> He committed to the, uh, to the、uh, command grab right there, and given that、uh, the rainwater previously hit his target, the command grab and <laughs> bait it. <laughs> Maybe the next one, if you win your match right now, Gilgi, you're going to be on stream. So you better do your best now. <laughs> But L also, L also, do your best. And here we go, Kohi, the very nice crossover over here. And Hasamu, Hasamu, I know this player. I've actually fought against him in tournament. He's an extremely strong Eno player. He actually beat me several times, so definitely um, definitely uh, looking forward to his、uh, performance against a very, very strong、uh, um, Giovanna player. Okay, so far it's going very, very, very nice for both, actually. It can really go both ways. The pressure of Kohida is definitely,、uh, is definitely suffocating right there. Oh, and he's gonna take it with a very nice juggle. Very nicely done by. Uh, Kohide takes the first round. Oh, and the very, very, very big counter hit right there from Hosamu. Okay, very nice reaction from Kohide. Checking that Hosamu wasn't completely, was definitely uh, not uh, safe after her hop, after the,、uh, the, uh, the follow up of the dive. Here we go, another counter hit, and this is definitely gonna do. 
very nicely done by Kohida. Takes it extremely, con takes the first round, ex the first match extremely con convincingly. Let's see if Hasamu is going to uh, find some sort of an adjustment and bring it back, basically. Very nicely done by him. Okay, here we go on to the second match. Let's see if there's going to be some sort of adaptation from Hasamu or if Kohide is just going to take it plain. We'll see. On oh, the big counter hit right there from Kohide. It's going to do a ton of damage. He's going to get the wall break. Here we go with... With... Kohide getting the positive bonus, he manages to really just chase after Hasamu and prevent him from, uh, yeah, from from getting away. Basically, this is definitely something you do not want when you play. Uh, Giovanna is like letting uh, Ino get away from you and putting distance between you and her. And here we go, just like this with the overdrive. Confirm Kohide takes the first round of the second match. There we go with Kohide with the aerial approach and a very nice swift punish from Hasamu with the standing S. Okay, Kohide going for the lows. Okay, and the Nasante right there that whiff, but well, thankfully for Kohide, it was quick enough for uh, him to be uh, to not be punished by Hasamu. Here we go with Kohide and the pressure in the corner, just like this. Yeah, Hasamu managing to put a little bit of distance, but then it, yeah, Kohide just like. On to him, definitely doesn't want him to go win whatever form, shape, or matter. He just wants to keep him in the corner, but yeah, Hasamu manages to get out, but yeah, there's a clear life deficit right there. A clear life deficit, unfortunately, for Kizzi, it wasn't on point when it came to uh, to punishing the hop right there. And just like this, Hasamu was on the verge of taking it, but uh, okay, he uses the overdrive and just like this forces the up, down, mix onto Kohide. Very nicely done by Hasamu, manages to take one round and Kohide doesn't want to. Pressing buttons or probably trying to, to uh, jump out of the corner, got hit accordingly by Hasamu. Very nicely done by Hasamu right there. He is going to get his pressure and here the up, down, up, down that everybody loves except people who play against, you know, <laughs> and the perfect from Hasamu. This is a big statement from him, definitely. Good, well done. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise indeed, Hakuma. How you doing, my brother? Okay, very nicely done by Hasamu, man. He manages to put one on the board. Okay, just like this, it is a one against one. That was clutch in your play. It was, man. It definitely was. Okay, here we go with the big anti air from Kohide and just like this already pushes Hasamu in the corner, forces him to burst in order to get some leeway. Oh, badly timed offense from Kohide right here. Unfortunately, he was grabbed by Hasamu and... Ah, but just as I say this, the prowess, the speed of uh, Giovanna enables Kohide to just close the gap and I'm doing good, bro. Absolute fire tournament. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. Oh, and again, the Nasante to check Hasamu to prevent him from going in the air. Very nicely done. He's going to get the overdrive into the kill. Koi did definitely a little bit, uh, probably slighted by the way that Hasamu uh, managed to get a, a perfect off of him during the previous round. Here we go, the hop, the hop pistol right there from Hasamu. Elden Ring got me though. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no worries, man. It's okay. I, I understand. Here we go, very nicely done right there. Ooh, and the pressure is real. Hasamu recognizing that uh, Koide tends to go with the uh, the uh, spiral arrow in the corner as a way to reset pressure. And uh, this summer he managed to punish him. I think it's okay. Yeah. Okay, this is gonna be huge punish right there from Hasamu. He's definitely gonna take it very nicely done. Nice stuff from uh, Hasamu. Managed to uh, get the first round of the third match. Let's see if he can continue this trend and eventually win against this monster that is going to Monster is an extremely strong player. Thank you very much for the follow, SMBSG. Really, really appreciate it. And welcome to the Brojos. Here we go, Alice. I'm trying to 
uh, basically hit Kohide for from away using the uh, 4S. Very nice spacing from Kohide manages to with punish Kohide and just like this he's gonna take it. Very nicely done. That was pretty clutch. Nicely done. Puts one on the board again. Kohide on the verge of winning this uh, this encounter actually, but it's not as one-sided as what I uh, believed it was going to be. Very nicely done by uh, by Kohide so far. So let's see if there's going to be some sort of adjustment from uh, from Mr. Um, from uh, Mr. Hasamu or nah, Hasamu is probably a a uh, a man's name. So I am going to use the pronoun him. I hope nobody feels offended by it. Here we go. The okay, fine of my lord. Kohide has been so freaking. Um, good on his uh, on on his way of keeping to Hasamu and not preventing him from uh, from um, from putting any distance between him and ooh, uh, the trade from uh, for both characters. I do believe. Uh, oh, oh my lord! And just like this, Kohida takes it with the overdrive into the wall break. Yeah, I need to buy it as well, Elden. I'm definitely gonna buy it in uh, in the close future. I love, I freaking love the Souls-like games, so yeah, I'm definitely buying this one. Okay, and here we go with Hasamu making his way ever so slightly on top of Kohide. Okay, here we go, yeah, probably Hasamu recognizing that he cannot just always put distance between him and Kohide. He needs to go for the offense as well. But here we go with Kohide and the grab mix-ups. Very nice follow from Kohide Prevents. Ooh, and the, oh my lord, this is huge, the bait, the burst bait, that was huge, look at the damage. Awesome on the verge of getting eliminated and sent to the loser, and just like this, Kohida takes it very good. We should put it in practice. And here we go with Gilgi against Mugi, the war of the Fatsies, the Fatsos basically. So, the war of Gold Lewis against, well actually I don't think we can really say that Nagori Yuki is fat, he's just extremely big. But yeah, this, these are definitely, yeah, that's a six pack right here, and yeah, but yeah, only, <laughs> I'd say only uh, Gold Lewis is the fat one in this encounter, but anyways, that being said, Gilgi doing a good job of uh, just applying pressure onto Mugi, Mugi really trying to put some distance between them, but recognizing that Gilgi was going for his uh, minigun, punished him accordingly, pushed him in the corner right now, and applying pressure himself, he didn't go with the uh, tension, with the overdrive. Probably wanted to keep it for this, actually. The Battle of the Titans, exactly. The Battles of the Fat Shows. <laughs> and just like this, I think, yeah, it's definitely gonna do it. Mugi takes the first round, very strong start for him. But definitely, yeah, Gilgi definitely did some pretty nice stuff as well. It's definitely not one side, definitely not over till it's over. Again, here we go. Gilgi trying. Very nicely done with the pressure right there. Oh, Mugi dropped the combo. This is uh, oh uncharacteristic, and Gilly with the side switch combo right there. That was crazy good. Very nicely done. Oh, here we go, Gilly. But Mugi manages to uh, find the hit. Does a very good job at uh, guessing when uh, Gilly is gonna go to the air. And this is good. this is that. This is that. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely that. Very nicely done by Gilly. Nice recognition from him that uh, Mugi was uh, was going to uh, be affected by Blood Burst. Okay, here we go. Gilgi has Mugi on the ground. A very nice follow-up to his aerial attack. Definitely doing a, a good job at applying pressure. He's trying to be a little bit more patient than he was during the first round. And this is showing very nice. He went for the, um, for the Burst Bait right there. But Mugi didn't uh, bite. Fortunately for him, because if he bought, he probably would have died. Oh, and here we go with the big pressure and Mugi burning some, uh, some, yeah. I don't know if I agree with uh, the burn of the, uh, the the bar right there, but it's okay, yeah, uh, it, it was definitely good since he managed to get the uh, first match of this encounter very nicely done. That was pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to check the bracket real quick to see if everything is going according to plan. Oh, there
Okay, and here we go with the start of the round. Fortunately, yeah, some people haven't started their matches from the loser's bracket. Uh... Oh. Ah, this one take it. Ah, no. Let me let me get this for you. Oh, why did it work? Mm, here we go. Time to be a main, exactly. Okay, why didn't this work, bro? Uh, so many stuff is not going correctly. What is going on? Very nicely done by uh, by Mili actually manages to put one on the a second one on the board actually. Well done by him. Just gonna ask you to wait a couple of seconds. Wait. Hold on. Hold it. Okay, here we go. Sorry for the wait. Okay, so, uh, what is this? One second for you. Am I doing this? Here we go. <clears throat> okay, and right there, Gilgi on his last round. Possibly he might be losing this encounter and be sent to the losers, unfortunately for him. We'll have to see whether he'll be able to weather the storm or not. so far so good oh can just like this Mugi takes it very convincingly it's gonna be Murasaki Megu against Tim 119 let's see how this goes it's gonna be Ram against uh well against uh basically um Giovanna looking forward to this encounter okay Megu trying to weathering the storm trying to you said please understand I'm doing multiple Ah, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, DJ Lab. You see, I'm, I'm doing so many things that I don't even remember seeing anything, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me then. Please. If you don't need to understand, you just need to forgive. That's all, that's all I really want. <laughs> okay, anyways, but I'm happy. Yeah, I'm, I'm managing to, uh, to, uh, to manage basically all of these different things. So I'm, I'm actually pretty happy. And just like this, actually. Megu manages to take also the first round of this encounter. Okay, let's see how this goes. Megu trying to go through the air and jump onto Timko. Timko doing a good job of uh, pressing buttons exactly in between the pressure, uh, the one in between the pressure of Megu. Successfully escorts Megu directly in the corner, just like this. Tim is applying pressure. Oh, and that us! Oh, oh my lord, that cross under was pretty sick. Well done by Tim, and just like this takes the, uh, himself one, one round. One round apiece. Who is going to take this very first match? Oh, there we go with Megu with the overhead, and just like this, Timko manages to sneak in a 2D counter hit, by the way. Just like this, he manages to escort Megu in the corner. He can apply the pressure, but Megu with the 4S manages to put some distance between him and her. Very nice sword dropper that, that did a huge amount of damage. Oh. Here we go with Timko. Okay, Timko who went with the possible uh, burst bait right there. and But Megu definitely holding on to the burst and not like being baited that easily. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Timko takes the first match of this encounter. 
But it's definitely not one-sided. We can definitely see that uh, Megu is is definitely doing some very nice stuff and uh, possibly uh, going to bring the necessary adjustment in order to win uh, the second match as well. We'll see, we'll see. Perfect. Okay, nobody called me, that's perfect. And just like this, a very early start with a counter hit that did a lot of damage. Boom, boom, or not. Okay, here we go with Tim Cohen, the pressure in the corner, mixing up his pressure actually. And making Megu guess, but Megu just popping up this 2HS right there into the counter hit. Very nice timing. Oh, and Tim Cohen almost managed to get the uh, wall break, but it wasn't. Uh, well, uh, saved by the burst for Megu, who got the burst, who popped the burst before, um, before actually get, getting wall break, well broken. <laughs> and the aerial overdrive for the win by Timco, very nicely done. Takes the first round of the second match as well, and just like they start the round with an Asante counter hit and gets the wall grab. Look at the damage, man, the damage. That was pretty crazy. Again, a counter hit. Timko definitely smelling, smelling that uh, Megu is um, pressing a lot of buttons, actually, and uh, it's not working necessarily in his favor. Very nice, and that was a big statement from Tinko Manage. Just to take the second match with a perfect, that enormous statement right there. And just like this, we have near Automata background music. I absolutely love this game. And I absolutely love the big GM of this game as well. Best game ever. Okay, here we go to B. This is for you. Watch this uh, this wonderful match between uh, between Megu and, uh, and Tim. Uh, okay, here we go. Okay, Megu finding the gaps in the pressure of Tim Cohen. Ah, uh, and Fortune actually provoked the burst from Tim Cohen right there. Megu looking pretty good, making her way, his way, her way, um, their way, ever so slightly in the corner. And very nice mixes right there from Megu, alternating between Tick. Uh, between um, well, basic uh, close S pressure and just uh, running close to her, his, their opponent and just grabbing really nicely done. <clears throat> Boom! Okay, so far so good. Oh, okay, Timko finds his way out of the corner and even manages to to pop a uh, a Nasante counter hit again. Maybe with the uh, with the sword drops right there finds. The hit things are looking extremely good for uh, Megu actually, ah, uh, but don't, yeah, don't dis, uh, don't discount, don't discard, don't um, what's the correct way or word I forgot? Don't uh, don't, yeah, what's the word? Don't discount? No, don't discard. Well, don't don't discount. Okay, okay. Uh, don't, don't, yeah, it's probably this end. Don't discount Timco who is. Definitely a very strong Giovanna player and who who just managed to make the the, uh, the comeback. It's discount, right? Isn't there another word as well? Downplay? Uh, downplay, yeah. But it's like discard. You know, don't discard him. Don't. Um... Damn it! There's a there's a word for this. Like when when you're speaking about don't count out. Yeah, Nemas, you got it. Thanks. I'm sorry, guys. I'm not a I'm not an English uh, English uh, native speaker. <laughs> I still have a long way to go when it comes to. Uh... To disregard, this is even better. It's disregard. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> exactly. Don't disregard Timco, who actually managed to uh, make a comeback, actually, and and who's looking pretty good and taking it. Now he goes for the crossover. That was pretty freaking good. Well played, Timco. Takes it three tournament. <laughs> a grand foam. Here you go. That's what I heard. That's what I, I was thinking about. Yeah, just like this, we are. Oh, we're actually in the uh, winners semifinal. I need to update this, by the way. I didn't do it. Shame on me. Winners semi-final. Semi-final. Ah, damn. What? Right. Semi. Damn. Finals. Pretty good. Pretty good. We're good. Perfect. I can update on the fly. This is the the beauty of OBS right there. Phonograph. I think. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I I did. 
heard about the gramophone phonograph not so much though that that might be like the ancestor of the the gramophone right i i, I really don't know i'm i'm, I'm just <laughs> i'm just like <laughs> I'm just saying things casually without any, um, you know, uh, without any uh, interest that it's factual or not. But anyways, that being said, uh, who took the first round? Uh, Tim Co actually managed to take the first round. Very well done by him. I'm sorry, I need to focus on uh, on this beautiful match that is right uh, in front of us. Okay, so Nas unfortunately uh, had had a uh, had something up. It's unfortunate, but. Okay, no problem. Hope everything will be okay. Okay, here we go. And, uh, okay, so... Okay, so Nas, unfortunately, is going to have to quit the tournament because something came up. Something personal. So, uh, Zeej won it. And let me just real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to disqualify him, unfortunately. Ah, oh, damn it. There we go. Okay, we're good. Okay, so uh, back to the <laughs> back to the I like six heroes. So many words for it. yeah, I know, right? So many words. I like six heroes. Blaze blue OSC is pretty awesome. It is, man. It is. And uh, yeah, just like this, Koki that took the first match. Actually, I didn't watch it at all. So many stuff happening today. So many stuff behind the scenes. I need to be like at everywhere at the same time in order to manage it. Oh, <laughs> it's not easy, man. It's not easy, but it's, it's cool. It's cool. It's, ni it's a nice experience, if I might say. And so far, so good. Koki that takes the first round. Let's see, well, the first match, actually. Let's see if Tim is going to bring any sorts of adjustment in order to bring it back. It's still not over. We, he has two, uh, actually three uh, matches to do so. Well, two, two matches actually. Okay, who we go with? Uh, Timko unfortunately getting hit by the 2D counter hit of Koki there right there. But thankfully for uh, Timko, he still had his burst, but... Oh Lord, Koki is just going, running straight after Timko, preventing him from having any sort of distance between them. Very nice follow-up from, from Tinko right there. He got... Oh, but the very missed time save jump right there. He got caught by Koki. This is unfortunate. Oh, and the conversion and the confirm from Koki. Day, man, he's on point. Definitely, that was pretty sick. I I thought it was underground, but it actually... Yeah, Koki was juggling with uh, with Tinko the whole time. That was pretty crazy. Very nice uh, grab right there from Koki. Day. He probably tried to bait something. I'm not quite sure what, but... Finally, Team Cobe manages to uh, force the burst onto Kohide. That was a safe jump, hopefully for... Okay, that was a safe jump. And the adequate punish on it, the fully charged dust. And Team Cobe does know his co his combos. Very nicely done by him. Okay, very nice back dash from Kohide, man. Oh, and just like this, the, yeah, Kohide just like... Is being so slippery, man. <laughs> the 2D. It's never really a. Um, it's not a Giovanna match if you don't see a trade with the 2D. <laughs> well done by Team Co. Manages to take one round as well. He needs this match if he wants to uh, tie it up. Ah, but yeah, he did not letting anything go. He's definitely being on point with his with his uh, pressure right there. Okay, go oh, and just delaying a bit his onslaught, and just like this, he takes the second match as well with a perfect, nonetheless, two dogos batch match ever, <laughs> best match ever, exactly. But yeah, Koi did looking very, very strong this time around. Man. Well, he's always looking strong, but uh, especially this time with like the perfect and the um, and the overall um, uh, reads that he has right now. Yeah, things are looking pretty good for him. Okay, on to the next battle. Let's see how it goes. Okie dokie. This is potentially the last match of this uh, this encounter, of this set. If Team Code doesn't find the adjustments that he so desperately needs in order to, uh, well, basically shift the momentum, then he is unfortunately going to be sent to the loser's bracket. Koi did definitely smell in blood, not letting anything go, man. He's being on Team Code every single moment of this matchup. 
just like this with the oh and the fail juggle right there from Koi. This is uncharacteristic, by the way. And the very nice Nasanto with the follow-up into the overdrive, into the wall break, into the death. Damn, that actually made it. it he took it with it. Damn. That's pretty crazy. Well done. There we go. And the 2D counter hit by Tinko finally forces the again. <laughs> finally forced the burst into exactly the same pattern. That was pretty nice in the back. The back dash from uh, Kohi, that was pretty well timed right there to uh, actually get rid of the... Um, oh, to, to basically uh, surprise Tim Cool and catch him after his safe jump. Okay, here we go, Nasante, man. Kohi, they're definitely not afraid of just letting it rip, like, right in the middle of a, of a block string. <laughs> Only Kohi, man. Okay, here we go, this is a, yeah, safe jump, uh, safe normally. But uh, since, yeah, Kohide probably knew exactly at what timing he was able to pop against Mugi. So Singapore against Japan. This is the winner's semifinal. Again, a mirror, unfortunately. Well, but it's, it's still fun, you know. But you, especially the mirror of, uh, of Nagori Yuki. Some people love it. Some people despise it. I personally am neutral, I guess. But especially when, well, if it's a, a match against two Nagori Yuki players who are very good, and it's actually the case, then I'm all for it. So I'm definitely all for this match here. So let's see how this goes. But so far, uh, it's actually pretty even, even though uh, Zeech managed to uh, force the burst upon Mugi. Yeah, things are looking pretty good actually for Zeech right now in the mistimed Oki right there from Zeech. Uh, made it so that he got grabbed by Mugi on his wake up. Mugi trying to weather the storm right there, being a little bit more patient. He's got Zeech in the corner, very nice uh, DP right there from Mugi for the follow-up and this should do well done by Zeej takes the first round let's see if this trend continues or not <clears throat> oh here we go the Konsetsu okay okay ah, okay here we go with the clone and the follow-up by by Mugi that was, but yeah, Zij managed to get out of the pressure, but unfortunately for him, he popped the unpoppable <laughs> Oh, and the drop on the on the um, on the burst, uh, the, the burst on the uh, the dust combo right there. This is uh, very uncharacteristic for Mugi. I think he doesn't really have. Yeah, you know, some players are extremely strong. They they really are extremely strong in the game. Like they have placements in tournaments and such, but they're so not used to use to using the uh, fully charged burst, the, uh, the fully charged dust that they just they drop the combo. It happens so often. <laughs> Because yeah, most usually in high level plays, you will never use dust because your opponent will never get hit by it, and that's the reason why some some players actually who tournament very strong tournament players just like Mugi. Uh, and just unfortunately for him, he crossed the line. And just like this, Zeej actually puts one on the board. Zeej is very, very famous for winning his two first match, but then losing everything. <laughs> so I hope for him, he's gonna, he's gonna lose everything this time around up until the third match and just, you know, um, bring it and just uh, just moving move it to uh, the winner's final. Okay, anyways, that being said, let's see how this second match unfolds. Did I did the scores? Yes, I did. And like this with the wonderful BGM of um, Streets of Rage, number four. Very fun game if you have friends, which is not my case, so I don't have anybody to play with me. But very, very nice game nevertheless. No, I, I'm just kidding. I played this game with uh, some of my friends, and it was pretty fun. Anyways, that being said, here we go with... Uh, Mugi actually applying a pretty hefty and pretty strong pressure in the corner on Zeech forces him to burn all of his tension bar right there. Yeah, and if things continue, oh my lord, look at the pressure, like, Mugi has been hitting them buttons for like the past two minutes, man, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> we definitely on point right there, not letting Zeech even take a breather, man, like, so that was one hell of a pressure right there. But so far, so good for... Mugi manages to command grab, bite Zeej. Oh, and the badly timed 6 HS right there. The concept. Uh. Oh, here we go back in the neutral. If there is such a thing as neutral when you are watching a Nagori Yuki mirror. <laughs> oh my lord, and that pickup by Mugi, man. Definitely on. Yeah, definitely. 
searching for blood right there, smelling that blood. Oh, no punish on the um, on the Beyblade right here. This is uncharacteristic of Mugi. Definitely, he wasn't expecting this. He was expecting something else. And that with punish on the 5HS, man. Using the Beyblade to close the gap and punish Zeej. That was pretty freaking sick. Well done by Mugi right there. Puts one on the board as well. We have a match, ladies and gentlemen. Things are looking pretty good. Let me check, check real quick the bracket. Oh. Alright. You. Alright. Wait. You can start your matches. Please start your matches. Mm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, I still need to send some directives or else people won't. Hopefully this one as well. Okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. I'm sorry, I just need to, yeah, keep uh, a small eye on the on the bracket because some players haven't started their matches yet. Ah, damn. Hopefully we'll get to see Tim's match. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Ah, this is not good actually. I shouldn't have done this like this, but it's okay, it's okay. <clears throat> okay, we go with the concepts of from <clears throat> Mugi. Okay, here we go with Mugi uh, and the pressure. <clears throat> My lord. So many whiffs, uh, whiffed and unpunished, uh, ah, buttons right there. Here we go, he popped the, oh, oh my lord, and the double Fukio into the command grab by Mugi, definitely feeling himself right there. He managed to, uh, take the second match as well. <clears throat> uh, Megu, are you here? Can you start your match with, uh, with, uh, Champ, Mr. Champ? Okay, let's see. Sorry for the way. Yeah, we have a, a bit of a downtime right there. Some players didn't start their matches and we might... Uh... Okay, you know what? We're going to move on to the uh, winner's final to buy some time. Hopefully, they'll finish their matches by then. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I still have like a, a trump card. Should be okay, but they should be communicating with each other. They sent something on Twitter? No, not that I'm aware of. Okay, just like this, I think. Oh, okay. So, one round apiece. Okay, Mugi looking pretty strong right there. Okay, he's gonna get the wall break.
Yeah. Moving on to the winner's final is gonna be Mugi against Koki Day. Okay, perfect. Okay, so Megu and Chang San, Mr. Chang have finished their matches. Perfect. Okay, we're good. We're back on track, guys. Sorry. Sorry for this little, uh, for this little, um, <laughs> okay, we're good, we're good. We're back on track, it's good. I'm sorry for the... I'm really sorry if I can't commentate, like, uh, all the time. I have... we have some... some issues during this tournament. <laughs> lots of, uh... lots of, uh, uh, consecutive issues, but it's okay, we're, we're managing. So here we go. Uh, with the two HS, for you to manage to, uh, block and not get hit by it. Here we go with Mugi and the pressure in the corner, very... No, actually, Kuide managed to hit his opponent with the aerial overdrive. He didn't use the um, tension to extend his combo. Probably thought... Oh my lord, the one hit confirmed! That was sick! That one hit confirmed from uh, from Mugi, that was really... Oh, and he's actually going to... <gasps> and he used the tension to follow up, that was sick! Well played by Mugi, that was really, really, really sick. Oh, here we go. With Kohide in the corner. Okay, finally forces the burst from Mugi, who has been keeping it all this time. Okay, Mugi definitely, uh, Beyblade happy, <laughs> if I might say. Okay, very nice grab by Kohide. He has Mugi right where he wants him. <clears throat> And just like this, uh, Kohide manages to uh, take a round of his own. Very nicely done. Oh, and that 6P counter hit by Mugi. This hurt a lot. Okay, here we go. Uh, Mugi managed to force the burst onto Kohide. Went and tried to command grab, but Kohide aware of it. Just backdash and made it whiff and punished it accordingly. And this is going to be an Asante, yeah. Now, Sunday traded? This is uh, uncharacteristic. There we go, Kohide. Looking very, very good this time around. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Just one sec. Okay. And just like this, Mugi takes the first round of this encounter. This was extremely clutch, well played by Mugi. It's definitely not over though. We still have two more uh, matches to go. Hopefully, uh, Kohide is going to find the necessary uh, adjustments in order to, uh, well, to bring it back. Okay, I'm just gonna try something out, guys. Oh my knee. Um, I'm... <laughs> I'm trying stuff on the fly, man. Okay. Should be good, I think. Okay, this, this is okay, it works. Okay, perfect. And we leave. <clears throat> okay, very nice. Uh, what's it called? Pressure from... Kohide so far. Ah, he finally forced the burst of Mugi right there. That was very, very nicely done. But Mugi definitely no slouch himself. Managed to uh, reverse some momentum and get one round off of Kohide. A very violent exchange between them two. A very nice slide right there from Kohide. Managed to uh, catch, well, catch, grab. Uh, Mugi and then immediately recognizing that there was a wall, uh, a wall splat and, and just using the uh, the, uh, the overdrive to get the hard knockdown just like this. Mugi is on his last leg for this round and the double, um, the double air jump attack from Kohide managed to seal the deal. But yeah, we still have the final round. 
Oh, that 2D, that nice control of space that you get with the 2D of, uh, of Giovanna, they're nicely done by Koide. Yeah, Mugi definitely has some tools of his own. And did you see this? The 2D managed to counter hit uh, uh, and uh, to punish, actually. One against the 2S of um, of, uh, of Naruyuki. Very nicely done by Koide. And here we go with the, with the Beyblade. Yeah, Mugi definitely... Uh, Definitely on his top game when it comes to very good defense from yeah Mugi, but he's definitely getting opened a lot by the by the grabs, and this is gonna do. Here we go. Kohide puts one on the board as well. Very nicely done. Okay, we're good. Uh, yeah, did I put one? Yeah, I did put one on the board. Perfect! So everybody's here, everybody, okay. Everybody good, we're good. Uh, here we go. Hey! Sorry for the wait. Okie dokie, and here we go. Early burst by Mui. Definitely <laughs> didn't want to get... Uh, they don't want to have to deal with too much pressure from Kohide. Oh, and Kohide with the... Oh my lord, the, the conversion right there. Conversion, the... Um, the confirms and here we go this sliding standing i believe it's the the 4s if i'm not saying anything now nah, it's not the 4s it's actually the standing 4hs it slides into the grab koide has been using it extremely efficiently during this uh, this bout and even previous matches if you ask me And here, oh, when Mugi a little bit too far in order to command grab his opponent right there. This is unfortunate. Again, with Koki to just backdash and when sensing that Mugi is trying to grab him, man. He's been working extremely well for Koki to, Like his, um, his sense of, yeah, understanding that his opponent is probably going to stop his ongoing offense and just start to grab him has been pristine. Very well done by, uh, by Kohide. You know, Kohide going to the air, that probably means he wants to use the aerial. The air oh, or not, actually, yeah. This is going to do? Or not, no, 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 it's not going to do, actually. Thankfully for Mugi, Nagoyuki has a huge health pool. And just like this, Kohide actually managed to take, take the lead, even though he was the one to be, um, he was actually in the losing. Or he's actually uh, being led uh, by, by Mugi at first, but yeah, he managed to reverse the, uh, well, the, the, the situation and take the lead himself on the verge of actually taking this, uh, this winner's final. Let's see if Mugi is going to uh, say no and... Uh, Okay, on to the potential final match of this set. Oh, the trade in favor of Kohide though. Oh my lord, the gold burst here. You don't want Kohide with two bars of tension. This is definitely... Yeah, I definitely don't want him with two bars of tension. And just like this, yeah, Kohide is in the perfect situation. Has Mugi in the corner. He did have to burn one bar of tension. <gasps> My lord, the cojones on this man. The cojones on Mugi. <laughs> Mugi has like, had a really, really favorable situation, but yeah, Mugi just managed to go. Like, he managed to uh, slip away and uh, and to get the necessary uh, hits in in order to uh, seal the deal. Here we go with Kohide. Trying to work ever so slightly. Oh, and here we go, the dash into the 4H, uh, the 4S into the, um, the, how do you like, um, yeah, what's her name again? Uh, the name of this attack, it's... Va... 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 Sante, not Va... Sante, va... Ventan... Ventania... Ventania, here we go, I got it. <clears throat> and here we go, the grab! He's gonna get the wall break. Koid is still holding on to his burst, probably scared, well... Probably... Not fearing, but... Oh my lord, and this burst! Made by Kohide was sick. Well played by Kohide, man. That was crazy good. Oh, here we go. Kohide definitely looking very good. He has his burst. He has the life lead. 
Oh, okay. Oh, he was. Oh, he burned his burst in hopes of uh, getting the gold burst and a full tension bar. He definitely went all in. <laughs> Bet the house on this one. Very nice recognition of Mugi. That Kohide is going a lot in the air and manages to punish him with the 6 HS. The 6 S. The 6 um, P. Okay, here we go. He did not afraid, man. Oh, just oh my lord! The recognition, the six P himself from Kohide. That was sick. Oh, I think now he didn't take. Yeah. Okay. Nice recognition from from Kohide. Kohide fishing. He's definitely fishing for the grab the ticket attempts right there. Okay. Oh uh, no! It's still hit. Are you serious? This is so unfortunate for Mugi. That was so clutch. Well played by Kohide. Manages solved in the um. In, uh, well, soon enough. Took me three times to connect to, in my lose. Ah, oh, tell me about it, Lady Scar. I, I really hope that it gets solved in the in the future, hopefully. And this is not the loser's final, by the way. This is the loser's bracket. There we go. <laughs> I need to update this a little bit more quicker. Losers. Yeah. Losers. Bracket. Here we go with a very nice OST right there. I love this song. Fire song from Tekken 7. And both clears just let the intro rip. There we go, so Atemu against Murasaki Megu. Definitely looking forward to this. Perfect, here we go. Nago against Ram. Let's see how it goes. Oh, and the big 2HS counter hit right there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Wow, very nice timing on the burst from Megu. Actually managed to... Uh, well, to, to get a side switch uh, with her opponent, with their opponent. Okay, here we go. Migu doing a good job of really... Yeah, again, uh, I already said it before, but doing a very good job at uh, switching, uh, mixing her uh, offensive pressure. Okay, but yeah, definitely, I'll take no slouch as you can see right there, finding the small openings in, uh, in Migu's gameplay. Very nice drop. Again, the sword drop has been working wonders for uh, for Migu. The Ram Slam, exactly. <laughs> the Migu Slam. Yeah, Migu is probably the the Ram. Yeah, she, like they've been using this so efficiently, man. The the Ram Slam. Yeah, I think this is. I'm gonna call it Ram Slam from now on. I call it Sword Drop. I don't know the actual real name of this this move, but I used to call it Sword Drop. But I think I'm gonna call it the Ram Slam. Yeah, definitely a. It, it, it conveys pretty pretty efficiently, I think. Anyways, here we go with Atemu with his onslaught in the corner. Very nice empty jump into the command grab. Okay, here we go with the onslaught is real. And just like this, Atemu manages to take one round as well. Okay, here we go with the Konsetsu with... Atemu pushing his opponent ever so slightly in the corner. Again, the pressure is real, man. Definitely not letting Megu out as easy as that. And just like this, the OTG for the win by Atemu manages to put one on the board. Things are definitely not looking too one-sided, but yeah, Megu is probably going to have to uh, have to come up with a very efficient strategy in order to... Um, well, to uh, have a sh to um, force a shift in the momentum right there. It's definitely, it's not over. It's definitely not over till it's over, but, but we'll see. Anyways, second match. Yeah, and this is what I'm talking about. Every time we do a match, we have to come back to the lobby in fear of getting a uh, connection error. Because if I get a connection error during the first two, let's say two or three, me, myself as a spectator, is going to be kicked out of, the, of the, the, the match. And that's the reason why I'm forced to do this first to one uh, format it's really annoying because it loses a lot of time but that being said it's okay uh with atemu right there just continuing his onslaught on megu man look at this he is he uh, they're already out of health ah, boom that was a good one indeed it was well and that was a good clone as well <laughs> yeah yeah atemu looking very good very uh very convincing uh performance I had so far. Here we go with the 6p counter hit. That did a huge amount of damage, man. Well played so far. And Atemu just answering back like, oh, this is yeah, this is going to be a lot of damage. Okay, unfortunately, he was a little bit too far to get the wall brick right there. This is unfortunate. 
Here we go with Megu with offense of her own. Oh, here we got the Kobaku. Oh, and using the, the... Using the clone to actually... Uh, well, go through the uh, sword throw from Megu. But still, yeah, Megu managed to take it quite uh, convincingly. A big counter hit with the Beyblade right there. Frith Atemu that um, enabled him to bring Megu back in the corner. Yeah, it is now. It definitely is. Yeah, the clone of uh, Nagori Yuki is projectile invincible, so if you use it on anything, any projectile, the clone will just, will just go straight through it. So yeah, that's uh, one uh, one way of dealing with the uh, the, the um, ram uh, projectile pressure in the corner. You're probably gonna see him use it again, unless uh, un unless uh, Megu manages to get a wall break. Oh my lord! And just like this. Oh, he managed to clutch it out. That was crazy. Well played by Atemu. He manages to take the second match as well. So far, so good. Just as I have said, that, like you can see that Megu tried to bring some adjustments to this uh, to this match, but I think it was just over it. Still, it was just like I don't know. He was prepared, and uh, well, she, um, Megumi Megu managed to actually take a round. So there was definitely improvement, but yeah. It seems like they're going to have to bring a further adjustment if they want to seal the deal and um, overthrow Atemu, basically. So let's see how it goes. Oh, there we go. Oh my lord, and Atemu on point when it comes to, to, uh, to well, 6 being his opponent. He did uh, cut his, uh, his combo short, probably in hopes of um, baiting the burst. But Megumi held on to it. Okay, here we go. Megumi's probably... Okay, didn't go for the wall break. Probably wanted a reset. Here we go with the overdrive. Megumi's gonna get the hard knockdown. Oh, and actually recognized that Atemu was going to... The uh, blood burst right there. Very nice recognition. I didn't even pay attention to this. Very nicely done by Megumi. Oh, here we go. D... Command grab for the win. Okay, back with the... Yeah, but you better be careful, Atemu. Oh my lord, he was so close. <laughs> he was about to, yeah, get blood bursted right there. Oh, okay, here we go with the... Very, very big pressure from Megumi, definitely. Playing different from the past two rounds. She's gonna get the wall break with the... Calvados right there. Very nicely done. One pixel puppy. Yeah, saved by the bell, man. Saved by the blood, man. <laughs> like, one more pixel, he would have blood bursted right away. Oh, my lord. Just like this, man. Atemu, who was really looking quite in a bad predicament, like, just manages to bring it back yet again, man. It's crazy. And yeah, he's gonna... Not gonna take a save by the pixel uh, themselves, man. Look at... Oh, and the bottle. Oh, my lord. Just let it rip, Megumi, man. I agree with them. I definitely agree with them. I definitely agree with this. Uh, the reason being that Megu had two bars of tension. So even if the hit of the super didn't hit Nagoriyuki, um, Megu would have still been safe since uh, they, they could have um, uh, uh, Roman canceled out of it. So yeah, I definitely agree. Well played by Megu. Well uh, assessment of risk versus reward. That was extremely well played. Okay, let's see if uh, the trend can continue, if, if, if Megu will be able to clutch it out or not. There we go. Oh, and my lord, in the early start of Atemu, man, definitely not afraid of using the super, the, the special attacks from Nagoriyuki to, um, well, to close it out. Not afraid of the blood burst at all. And here we go, Megu going with the, uh, the very nice mix-ups right there, even manages to get the, um, the optimal overdrive punish, uh, well, follow-up combo on on Atemu, but yeah, Atemu still... Well, the Megu is playing extremely well, like the... the Oh, and here we go again! The wake up super right when Atemu was about to command grab her, man. Very nicely done by Megu. So here we go. Atemu looking, still looking pretty good. Has Megu in the, in the corner. Okay, Megumi still finds an opening, manages to force the 
burst on Atemu. Unfortunately, maybe a little bit too far to continue her, uh, her block pressure right there. But still too far from Atemu to actually grab her, him, them. And here we go, Megu. Still looking pretty good. Okay, I'm going with the Schmixes, and this has been looking, this has been working extremely well for them. Here you go, the Ram Slam right there for the wall break. And again, the Ram Slam. Hold this. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately for... Oh, actually, Atomus had still some uh, some uh, some tension bar in order to uh, not get ship killed. The Mortobato, exactly. Yeah, Mortobato, exactly. Yeah, but uh, maybe we're actually bringing it back, man. Bringing it back extremely convincingly, if I might add. 2-2-2, two, 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 we have a match. This has been the, uh, the, the closest match we've had uh, tonight. So yeah, definitely looking pretty good. Mortobato. No. Whatever happens, this is the last match of this set. Let's see how it unfolds. Okay, here we go with Megu finding the opening with a uh, counter hit using her standing, her 4S. Here we go with the... Oh... That was so well played by Atemu using his 2HS to pick her out of the... Pick them out of the air. Here we go with the Ram Slam <laughs> again. This has been the hail mark, the, the trademark of, uh, of Megu, man. But Megu loves that Ram Slam. Freaking loves it. And just like this, Megu manages to seal it and take the lead, man. Holy crap, Megu onto the... Onto the, the comeback. This is crazy. That confirm was sick indeed. Oh, very, very well played, man. Yeah, definitely. That's a very good, uh, great approach tool with me. Exactly, yeah. Because it, it, it hits like three quarter of the, the screen. And if you have bar, you can just, you know, make it safe. So, yeah, definitely. If it hits, you get a follow up combo that does a huge amount of damage since the uh, ramp slam hit you. And if it doesn't hit, but you have tension, you just make it safe. So, yeah. Oh my lord, that ram slam, man. Holy. Okay, and you, you see Megu being a little bit cheeky, trying to bait the burst right there. First, well, fortunately for Atemu, he didn't take the bait and uh, just hold, held on to it. And here we go. This is actually. No, it's not gonna kill. It's gonna be closer, but it's not. I think it's not gonna kill. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's not gonna kill. Okay, here we go. Will it kill? <laughs> And again, the Ram Slam, and it actually hit this time. Okay, and you see Megu this time around recognizing that Atemu is probably not going to pop his burst because he didn't pop it the first times. And my lord, oh, the cojones on Atemu to actually press A button. Guys, we are on the final round of the final match of this encounter. This is freaking clutch. It will go with the close S from Atemu. Forces the burst on Megu. Megu answers right in. Uh, just this accordingly, man, forces the burst on Atemu. Both players are definitely on edge. They do not want to lose this match. I can feel it. They both can feel it as well. And just like this, Megu takes the lead with the wall break. Yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, firstly, for Atemu, uh, not Atemu, uh, for Megu, she, uh, they, did, uh, they didn't have any tension to use the overdrive. Oh, will this do it? This should do And just like this, Megu actually manages to take it. Holy... Bachelor is going to be Tim against Nemu, so Taiwan against Canada. Really looking forward to this battle as well. Both uh, players have been extremely, extremely good uh, during this tournament. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to their uh, to this match. So let's see how it goes. Here we go with the big counter, the counter fest. Actually, you start your match. Uh, also, uh, Megu-san, you can start your match uh, with Zij. It's not going to be... Uh, please start your matches. Yeah, uh, you can start your match with uh, against Zij. So please start your matches uh, as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah. If you don't see... If you don't see... Uh, if you don't see a... Um, what's it called? A, um, a message in your uh, chats, please start your match. Uh, th this is only for uh, losers bracket, but well, anyways, losers bracket is grand final right now. So, here's where we go with the ball break. Nemu with the life lead actually managed to get a hit with the overhead right there. Very nicely done. Here we go on to the second. 
Okay, a very nice tick throw right there from Timko. Again, the throw for the mind games. Here we go. This is going to be a big, very nicely done by... Yeah, managed to get a perfect, very big statement from him. Oh, and my lord, and then Asante counter hit this. <laughs> you could hear it. Uh, you could hear, you could feel it as well. Here we go, Nemu using her sword throws on her to try to snipe Timko out of the uh, air. But unfortunately for uh, Nemu, Timko is definitely aware of it. Okay, here we go with the pressure. Oh, and the wake up. The wake up overdrive. That was huge. Very nicely done by Nemu. Okay, here we go. Timko with the uh, raw, not the raw, the quick uh, dust. Roman canceled. Very nicely done, just like this, Tim manages to take the uh, first match of this encounter. Very nicely done. Hmm. Let's see if there's going to be some sort of adjustment. Okie dokie, so on to the next battle. Oh, here we go. So, second match of this encounter. Let's see how it unfolds. Simco right here forces the burst upon Nimu, but Nimu in a actually pretty good position to uh, try to keep Timko in the corner. But Timko answers in correct fashion, uses his own burst to try to get out of the pressure, which he successfully does. Here we go with Timko on. Here we go with yeah, Nemo doing a good job of really trying to get out of Timko's pressure. Oh, okay, here we go with the extension and Timko the confirm into the overdrive and to the kill. Well played by Timko takes the first uh, round of the second match. Oh, and the big counter hit on the two uh, D right there. He still manages to get the wall break oh and that 6p counter hit on Nemu's aerial approach that was sick well played by Tim he is going to get the wall corner combo is he gonna use no he didn't use his overdrive I maybe it wouldn't have killed I'm pretty sure it would have killed if he did use it Tim on a freaking train <laughs> he's definitely on the on the killing spur right there Tim looking very very good there extremely convincing play by him gets the second match extremely convincingly as well let's see if uh, this trend is going to continue in the uh, next battle as well thank you very much for the follow uh, uh, yeah thank you very much for the follow and welcome to the bro Joes. really appreciate it Perfect. That was a huge statement by uh, by uh, by Timko. Really well played. Very nicely done by Nemo. Actually, puts one round in as well. Okay, here we go with Tim and the wall break. So, just like this, we are on the final round of the second match of the third match. Actually, if Nemo absolutely needs to take this, if she want, if they want to stay 
I'm just like this, Tim manages to take it with a perfect, a huge state. So, moving on to the loser, semi-final is gonna be Tim against Zaid. This is gonna be a pretty violent match if you ask me. Thank you very much for the follow, it's really, really appreciated. Pasta de sauce, please. Okay, and just like this, we are on. Okay, so a uh, we can currently see that Tim has the advantage since he still has his burst gauge. He even benefited from a overdrive uh, wall break, which uh, gave him a hard knockdown. He currently has definitely the offensive lead. Zij is sort of struggling to get out of the corner right there, but he makes his way ever so slightly, but one hit would spell death for him, especially since right now Tim has two bars of vengeance. And the big aerial overdrive, this did a ton of damage, well played by Tim Ko actually manages to take the first round. Okay, and here we go with Tim Ko. Oh, and the big 2D counter, he wasn't quite capable of getting the follow-up because of the possible distance that was between them. Okay, here we go. Oh my lord, and the big, the big counter right there from Timco. Forcing Zeke ever so slightly in the corner. Ça va bien, Cybercat? Bienvenue sur le tas, tout en beau moment. Okay, just like this, Timko actually manages to take it. Takes the first match, looking extremely strong this time around. Okay, so Timko puts one on the board. Let's see if Zeke manages to uh, bring some adjustments in order to um, get a shift of uh, momentum. Very nicely done by two, uh, by both of them. Okay, here we go with Tim Cole immediately using the bar S from Giovanna. Yeah, he seemed it seemed like it worked for him at first, but um, just like this. Well, actually, Tim Cole making his way to the other side of the corner, but yeah, Zeke's definitely not letting him do whatever he wants to do and forces himself uh, in the corner. Very nicely done. My lord, CG is being extremely defensive. It's really rare to see him like this. Oh, my lord, and Tim caught that punish. <laughs> that sick burst punish, man. The burst punish with the immediate Roman cancel into uh, the fully charged dust was sick. Well played by Tim Co. That was optimal right there, extremely. Oh, here we go with Zeej. Definitely looking alive a lot more this time around. Definitely needs to. Yeah, be more aggressive if he wants to um, benefit from um, a change in momentum. And this actually should do it? Yeah, this is gonna do. Okay, finally put one round on the board. He needs this round, he definitely needs it. Okay, and thank you very much for the follow, Rocks and Rogis, and welcome to the Brojos. Okay, here we go with Tim. Oh, Tim Kool wasn't able to uh, to punish the uh, the Bloodbird, the Blood Rage right there. This is really unfortunate. That would have been huge for him, actually. Oh, and just like this, Zeech takes it with the quick dust into the uh, Roman Cancel well played by Zeech. Ah, uh, this is really unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Okay, here we go. Just gonna bait a couple of things. But yeah, good stuff by Z, just puts one on the board as well, so we currently have a match. Really well played. So, 
put it. Oh dear. And just like this. Okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're good. So, him manages to take the first round of this second, uh, of this third match, actually. Let's see how it goes. Okay, we go with Zeej and the concepts are really well played. Ah, finally forces the bird of Tim. Tim definitely holding on to his burst as long as freaking humanly possible. And he's just waking on it, popping the overdrive board. Actually, that was a correct uh, read right there from him. So this helped him to take this round as well. Really well played. Oh my lord. There we go with Zeej with the pressure in the corner. Oh my lord, mixing things up. I'm gonna grab you. Nope, I'm gonna hit you. Nope, I'm gonna grab you. Damn. Oh, the young slot is real, man. The whip punishes are real. Oh, but Tinko just heading, just dashing forward and just pressing buttons, man. Works perfectly. He managed to force the burst of Zeej, but Zeej definitely not letting it. The, oh my lord, the relentless. Oh, and before HS4. The win, well played for Zeech, puts another one on the board, 2-1, to this time around it's Tim, Tim is definitely um, needing a change, a shift in the momentum, because this is all Zeech right now man, all Zeech, let's see how it goes. So on to the potential final match of the set. Hopefully for uh, Ko, he will be able to... Oh, and just at the start of this round, the DP, man. Okay, tout ça au commentaire, on est fait, on est fait. Ouais, ça arrive, ça arrive. Oh, again, just like this, we... let me check real quick something. Okay, we're good. Oh, okay. oh my lord, the damage on this overdrive, it's it's always surprising me, man. Okay, Tim Cole looking actually pretty good, takes the first round of this third match, or this fourth match, actually. Here we go with the counter hit of Tim Cole. successfully pushes Zeej in the corner, he's gonna get the wall break. Okay, very well played by Tim Cole. Oh, unfortunately dropped the uh, second, the follow-up. Oh my lord, but he got the bait, but the burst bait. That was even actually better than what he initially intended. Just like this takes it with a perfect, we have another match. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on to the final match of this set, man. It's the second time it happens. Okay, well played by uh, Timko, bringing the necessary adjustments. Is it gonna be enough though? Is it gonna be enough? We shall see. Okay, okay, on to the final match of this set. Oh, and the big 6P counter hit to start up in start of the round. Big stuff from Zeej. Oh, looking actually pretty good, but even pops the burst in order to secure an ongoing pressure. Oh, and the two, the four, the whiff punish, man. Okay, here we go with... In the end... <laughs> in the end, I realized. Here we go with the wall break that was huge. Well played by Timco. Oh, and the close S for the entire air. <laughs> In the end, I realized any what, what which lyrics was this from? Well, I know it's for, I suppose it's from Revengeance, but I don't remember which song. You were just like me. Ah. In the end, 
the me the theme song. Okay, okay. Violence, breed violence. <laughs> is, is that th this one? Violence, he breeds violence. Yeah, yeah. This, it's. I love. I really love the BGM of um of uh Revengeance, but the the lyrics are really bad. <laughs> the lyrics are really bad. That's why in my playlist I have I have the BGMs, but without the um without the uh, the lyrics. I have the, the the songs, the BGMs, but without the lyrics because I really hate them. <laughs> But, oh my lord, we have a match, by the way. Damn, this is going down to the wire. Final match, final round of the final game, man. And just like this, the confirm from Tim, and he makes it. He wins it, and he moves on to the loser's final, man. Oh, finally it worked. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna try this again. <laughs> Perfect! It worked! And it doesn't work. What the hell? Sorry guys, I'm trying a lot of different things. Oh, blah. Doesn't work, what the hell? It's so strange. Ita and Regina! I think we got desynchronized. Oh. Okay, we definitely got desynchronized. Definitely. Something's wrong. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell going on? Damn. I don't know what happened, but yeah. Something happened. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I don't understand what's going on! My lord. Oh my lord, what's going on? This game... Yeah, it's not lag check, it's not. It wasn't lag check, but... En fait, c'est... Des fois, ça se désynchronise, et en fait, ce qu'ils qu sont en train de faire, c'est pas du tout ce qui se passe sur l'écran. Et là, c'est ce qui s'est passé, là. And, uh, I guess... Uh, yeah, I guess... Uh... Moogie took the first one, probably. Hmm. Donc t'as qu'il va s'arriver de temps en temps, mais c'est ultra chiant. It doesn't work, what the hell?
Sorry if I don't speak that much, guys. I just need to uh, take care of a couple of things. And we still have a dense <laughs> Damn, man. It's crazy. I don't understand why it does this, man. <laughs> Ah, it's going, it's going crazy again, I guess. Yeah, it's going crazy again. Yeah. Ah, uh, it's really not. It's really not like uh. It's not. It's not cool. Ah, uh, what the hell? What's going on? <laughs> we got this synchronized again. Ah, non, c'est un truc de ouf. C'est, c'est abusé même, j'ai envie de dire. Ah, what the hell? And. Uh, Tim, Tim one, I guess. Probably, yeah. This is crazy, man. It's so like not. Si l'un des deux joueurs crée une, je pense pas que ça change quoi que ce soit. Je pense pas que ça change quoi que ce soit. Ça m'étonnerait. Mais j'avoue quoi, les lobbies aujourd'hui, mon pote, ils sont pas très 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 stables, hein, putain. <rire> C'est un truc d'eau. Wow, that perfect goal. Mm. God damn it. Yeah, I saw it working, I don't know why. It's annoying. I saw it, it's like, anyways. Does that even work, actually? Let me check. Okay, this works at least. Okay, I don't know why. Why? <laughs> Doesn't make any, any sense. Anyways. Oh, and the Ventania on the wake up, but very nicely done by Tenko. He had uh, additional tension bars to make it safe. There we go, and the, oh, the confirm of Mugi that the Beyblade hit its target and immediately using the DP to try and, uh, well, to actually uh, get the follow-up attack on it. Very nicely done. And the perfect for the win. That was very, very well played by Timco. Damn, that was, that was a statement right here. <laughs> very well done. Okay, and on to the potential final match of this encounter. Ah, la pression était ouf. Hein? Mon dieu, Timco, il, Tim, il, il déconne pas. Hein? Well played. Okay, here we go. Ah. So let's see if uh, Mugi is going to be able to bring some adjustments to all of this. Oh, 
Elgir with the early burst from Mugi was forced to do so because, yeah, the pressure of Timko was getting started. He definitely probably didn't want to lose any momentum. Okay, here we go with Mugi. Finally pushes and forces the, uh, what's called the, uh, the burst onto Timko. He has a pretty nice, uh, life lead actually, Mugi does. So, let's see if he's capable of keeping said life lead or if, uh, well, Timko is going to be able to make a comeback. Things are looking pretty dire for him though. No, oh, and the big punish on the grab attempt. That was really, really well done by Timko. Here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. The Hail Mary. Oh, and Mugi recognizes that Timko was actually baiting it. Oh, but still, he has the, my lord, the reflex of the assessment. The assessment of this man to just like backdash to not get hit by any, uh, but, but to not get hit by, uh, by Timko and then grabbing him as a punish. Here we go, very nice combo from Mugi, the double Fukio to keep the pressure and this is gonna be huge for him. These are looking extremely good for him. With the big Wasuri Yuki. Okay, here we go. Oh, and the counter hit by Timko. This, oh, this is gonna do a lot. Oh, and the... <gasps> Oh, the stagger from Mugi to just wait to see if Tim was gonna do something, maybe pop the overdrive or something, and just grabbing it and waiting a bit and then deciding to grab him. That was really, really well played by uh, Mugi. Let's see if my god, and we're down to the wire yet again. This is the third time, man. <laughs> the third time in a row. Okay, here we go. Final match of this set. Let's see who's going to take it. Things are looking pretty good. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> okay, so far so good. Oh, Mugi finds the hit, forces the burst. Oh, and Tim, man, just recognizing that Mugi uh, popped the 2HS and just... Oh my lord, and the... <laughs> the confirms are good, man. They're really, really good. It's not gonna kill. By any means, but would we'll still put him in danger zone of getting uh, of getting chipped, and just like this, the standing P for the win. Well played by Mugi. Ah, looking very very good for uh, Tim. Here we go. He has the pressure. He has the corner. Oh, he tried to grab, but he was a little bit too too far. That's really unfortunate. There you go, the double Fukio yet again by Mugi. Ooh, he tried to grab him, but yeah, Tim was definitely aware of it. Backdash and immediately punished him. Okay, this is gonna do a lot of damage. It's not gonna kill either. Okay, here we go. Mugi. Ah, and we have a desync, of course. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. Why, why, why? Ah, uh, lord. <laughs> this game, though. <laughs> this game, though. Yeah, unfortunate. This is anti-climatic. <laughs> so, the grand final is gonna be Kohige, Kohide against Mugi. So, again, a Giovanna against Nagoriyuki match. Let's see how it goes. <clears throat> oh, by the way, I need to update. <laughs> I didn't update anything. Yeah, the winner. And grand final. Here we go. Perfect. Now we're good. So here we go. The confirm of Koki, eh, but no, actually not the confirm. He he let it pop, but yeah, Mugi was not going to get hit by this anytime soon. Well, uh, very nice patience from Mugi, and he even finds the opening. And this is gonna do, man. Look at the damage. Well played by Mugi. Okay, here we go. 
Mugi on the onslaught blocks everything and punishes accordingly. Oh, here we go. We, again, the sliding kick into the grab from Kohide it has been working wonders tonight. Oh my lord, you can see that she's just navigating right in front of Mugi, man. Trying to like bait the throw and punish him accordingly. Again, another throw bait, definitely. And just when he least expects it, just dashes and grab. Okay, this should do, actually. Yeah, this is definitely gonna do. Or not. Or not, or not. And the flip kick for the win. Well played. Il s'est passé quelque chose avec Gio. J'en vois partout en ce moment. Ah, bah, il s'est passé que. Il s'est passé que. Que TY a gagné, a gagné l'arc réseau avec, ouais. Les gens commencent à se rendre compte que Gio est grave. Enfin, vraiment, vraiment, vraiment très, très fort, je pense. Mais ouais, mais honnêtement, même moi, je, je commence à me, je me tâte à, à avoir une Gio, une pocket Gio. <rire> oh, Gary, got big six be right in your face. <rire> a little bit too late for the confirm, I think. Yeah, he was a little bit too late. That's unfortunate. Good attempt, but yeah, a little bit too late on the execution right there. Here we go with Kohide with the quick dust. This is gonna do, yeah. Well played by Kohide, definitely making the best of this opportunity. Six big tour, on effet, on effet. <laughs> well played, Kohide gets the first match and looking uh, pretty, well, pretty convincing. Possibly taking this, uh, uh, well, he might actually end up taking it. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna try another thing. Sorry, guys, I keep doing it. It's not working. Why? It's supposed to work. I don't understand. Yeah, I'm doing some troubleshooting at the same time. <laughs> it's supposed to work though, and this is mildly annoying. <laughs> Yo, Exxon, how are you doing, man? Welcome to the chat. And here we go, the Ventania for the wall break. Gomugi is actually looking. Uh, yeah, he's definitely in the last health right there. If he gets hit by anything and he doesn't fall for the defense, he's definitely gonna be dying. Ils sont les commentateurs là. Ah bah, y'a y'a que moi. <laughs> y'a que moi, y'a que moi. J'ai des trucs à, à vérifier en même temps, donc c'est pas facile de jongler entre tout. Donc je, je fais de bon mieux. <rire> ok, here we go. C'est pas un problème, t'inquiète, t'excuses pas. C'est pas ton travail, hein. Ouais. No problem. And here we go with Kohide alternating with his just dancing in front of Boogie, really trying to find the um, trying to find the opening against Mugi and actually managing to find it. Very nicely done. Ok, here we go with Kohide just Throwing his opponent and finding the win with a perfect, by the way, really, really well played by Kohide. Puts another one on the board on the verge of taking this uh, this uh, this tournament, actually. Let's see how it goes. Okay, on to the potential final match of this encounter Kohide has been extremely convincing during this uh this this tournament let's see if he can seal the deal tonight oh here we go with Kohide again really just just literally dancing in front of Mugi man just waiting for the opponent the, the the opportunity to just run straight and opening and open Mugi up oh here we go very nice confirm from Kohide Unfortunate for him, Mugi is also not willing to just stand back and get hit. Very nice flip kick right there to try to change the direction of his offense. Very nice cross up as well. Queen has really been doing a lot of very, very good job at mixing his. Oh, oh my lord, and just. 
The Hail Mary, man. That works so good in his favor. That was crazy by Kohide. Well done. And just like this, we're on tournament points. Let's see how it goes. Kohide well, looking extremely strong. Wow, but yeah, Mugi definitely not... Not giving up by any means. Okay, here we go. Kohide managed to get out of the corner. Still resorting to try to grab his opponent. It's working extremely good for him. Mugi burning a lot of meter just to try to use the faultless defense to get Kohide as far away from him as possible. Finally manages to find the way out of the corner. Oh, here we go. And Kohide with the well, aerial overdrive again. It's been working so good for him. The flip kick to go over. Any attempt of Mugi to try to, to hit him. Okay, finally, Mugi burns meter to, well, burns his burst to uh, secure two bars of tension. And you can feel, you can sense that Koi is feeling, definitely feeling comfortable. Okay, here we go. Oh, Mugi had the opening. And just like this, Kohide takes it on the blood burst of Mugi. Well played, Kohide.